The decision to appoint him to the premiership may have come as a surprise, but his approval by Russian lawmakers less so. Fulfilling widespread expectations, the Russian parliament has confirmed Mikhail Mishustin as the country's new prime minister. A relatively unknown technocrat, Mishustin has presided over Russia's tax service for the past 10 years, where he was credited with modernizing the country's fiscal administration system. Widely seen as someone who could bring positive changes to the country's lagging economy, he has vowed to focus on social issues and improving living standards as president. The president tasked the government to be at the cutting edge of the country's development to ensure economic growth and the creation of new jobs. It's the basis for efficient social policy and, of course, without the high pace of economic development, the social development of our country would languish. In a surprise announcement Wednesday, Vladimir Putin announced plans to expand the power and independence of Russia's parliament and state council at the expense of the presidency prompting the entire government to resign just hours later. Though the Russian president framed the changes as an effort to strengthen democracy, many observers speculate that he is instead laying the groundwork for maintaining his hold on power long after his final term is up in 2024. It wouldn't be the first time Vladimir Putin used or created loopholes to continue pulling the Kremlin's strings. When his term limits expired in 2008, he swapped to the prime minister's seat, designating his protege, Dmitry Medvedev, as presidential placeholder until later returning to the presidency in 2012.